Hey everyone and welcome to another video. So today we're taking a look at the Zidu Z9X media player and basically what we're doing is converting your standard normal interface into this what you see in front of you. So this is the UI from the more premium Zidu players. So the Z9X is the sort of entry level uh, media player and generally it comes with a very basic user interface. This one, whilst it's still quite basic, it does look a little better. But first, a quick word about one of my channel partners, that is American Audio Company. The American Audio Company is a unique UK-based hi-fi and home cinema store specializing in some amazing North American AV products with relationships with a wide range of both UK importers and US and Canadian manufacturers. They are in an amazing position to offer some truly amazing products to both end users and the trade. Please do check them out for all your AV needs. First thing we'll do is we'll just come into the actual application. So in order to do this, it's actually very, very simple. It's literally only a few button clicks. So Z-I-U-I, cool, is basically the app that actually does this for us. So if I click on this, this now reverts back to the original user interface. So this is what a normal Zidu Z9X media player would actually look like. So when you come into it, you have all your normal sort of Android type look, and then you have your home theater there, and then you have to come in to your main apps in order to get to all the rest of the apps. Now, in order to transfer this into what you saw at the start of this video, all you have to do is actually just click on that app and instantly you're transported back into obviously this this more modern uh, better looking interface it does miss a few things so obviously now because at the bottom all you've got is your media center your poster wall your music player and then you've got your app section and then your settings whereas the original one obviously had a lot more options on your main menu and you could add shortcuts for updates and things like that as well on this particular one you don't actually get that but obviously it's a much cleaner look and that's why most people actually prefer to do this so as i said in order to do this is very simple you literally just install this app now installing the app can actually be done in a number of different ways i'll go through the th sort of three main options. So the first option is you download this app. I will have a link for the application in the description below. So you can follow that link and obviously download the app itself. Once you've downloaded the app to whatever location you wanna do it, you can either do the most basic install, which is you down uh, install it onto a USB stick. You would then come to your APK installer and then basically you would either go off your USB stick and choose the install, or you can do what the, uh, the method that I do, which is the web installation. So even with the web installation, you actually have two different options. So the first option is if you've downloaded the application to a network location, then you can simply follow the web address at the bottom of the screen. And once you're there, navigate to your uh, NAS drives location, wherever you've downloaded the file and then select that and it will basically follow the normal APK installation. Now, the way I actually prefer to do it is rather than downloading it to a USB stick, a computer or anything like that, I'd simply just download straight to my uh, phone. So I'll save it, I've got an iPhone and I just download it via normal download following the link in the description. Once I've got it downloaded, I will follow this website and I will save that file into the uh, files app on my iPhone. So just basically on my iCloud. Once I'm on iCloud, I will then navigate to the file and I can simply choose the file and install it using that method. Whether you use USB installation or whether you do any of the network or iPhone method, the end result will be the same. Now, what you would have noticed is when I actually click the app now, it switches very quickly. So essentially, it's very, very quick to actually switch between uh, the more modern UI to what you see now. Whereas the very first time you actually use this app, it won't be like this. So the very first time you use the app, what will happen is you almost get like a new setup. So when you first install the Zidu Z9X media player, you'll get a sort of welcome screen and you'll go th run through a normal setup. Now it's up to you whether you wanna actually run through that again once you actually use the application or you can just skip that and you'll end up reverting back to whatever settings that you actually had previously. So this doesn't change any of your picture settings, any of your sort of customized or anything else in for, uh, with regards to any applications you've got installed, third-party ones, or anything to do with the 
uh, home theatre player or in this as you, as it's called the post wall. So it won't actually change anything within here. Um, all your settings will remain the same for everything that you actually have unless you want to actually change it. So if you want to change it then with the very first time you run it you can actually do that and obviously go through and make sure you've got everything tweaked the way that you want it. But if you want to if you've already had your uh, Z9X set up and you're running this after the fact then you can just skip that step and basically you'll end up with what I've got here now. Um, I believe the very first time it also does a reboot as well. After that, it doesn't necessarily need a reboot. So as you can see, I can switch between the old sort of UI, the original UI and the new UI um, with just a single click. Now, if you do switch the device off from power on the remote, it will just power back up exactly as it is now. Obviously, it does have the normal Zidu splash screen, but it will just power up as, as normal. And even if you hard shut down the, the uh, media player, it will still boot back up to this. The only time it switches back to the original UI is if you actually go in and click it, as I have done so in this video. Otherwise, this is the UI you end up with, and basically this is what you, you see every single time you boot up. So yeah, that's just a quick video giving you details in terms of how to actually install this more modern UI on a Z9X. Obviously, if you do find it useful, I would appreciate if you could like this video and share with anybody out there that you think might, might find it useful as well. If you haven't already done so, please do subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. And until the next one, thanks very much for watching.